Okay, so now guys, how do we automatically generate the receipt number? We need to use what we call the VBA. I already have the script generated for me, so I don't need to do much. So what I need to do here now is to use the Alt F11, which brings up my Microsoft Visual Basic for applications on my Excel. So I want to work with this particular script. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to use it. Now look at this carefully. I'm going to break this down. I have here my class being created. Okay, and this code, I'm going to make this code available for you. All right, you don't need to edit it. It does everything we want to do. So how do you use it? I'm going to copy it out of here and close this. Okay, so just all you need to do is on the Visual Basics, just go for just go for inset and then you go for model then you can paste this okay um, code you're gonna copy from my blog right there and all you need to do is save it but now that's not all you need to make a little bit of change here that is this cell for a receipt this cell needs to be worked with this particular cell Okay, so I made it A3. Let me check the cell. Okay, so this cell here is E4. I just want different. So let's just get back there. So E4 is the cell name E4. All right, so there's the code that is going to help us print our document. And then after printing, a file will be saved, okay, onto a folder you want it to be saved, just to keep a record of the invoice. All right, and these two commands right here means the invoice will be printed two times. If you want it to be printed just once, then you can what remove one of these particular command that is active sheet print out. I'm going to make it print twice and please for the record I'm using a PDF to print not a printer so I'm saving as a PDF I'm printing to PDF that's exactly what I'm going to do so you can always use your printer so right now I'll go for save okay it's working perfectly because I've, I've saved this document as the XLX xlsm macro and for macro that is why it's not giving me an error if you save as just xls you're going to get some error message so ensure you save as xlsm all right now guys going back to document okay to run that script so that this particular invoice will be printed out and a unique code to be generated all we can do is go back to the macro and then you click on the play or you press F5. When I go for play, you realize that it says um, automated invoice Excel by VTB. Note, it prints two copies by default. So I enter one to start print. So I'm going to go for one and then go for OK. So it started printing my book too. And it's going to ask me to save. The reason being that I uh, have a lot of PDFs already I created. So let me just create a new folder called called um, VTB. So I'll go into that folder. All right, and then call this one. Okay, it's going. It's coming here because I'm saving my print as a PDF. You also supposed to go directly to the printer. Okay, so I'm going to go for save. So it's printing. Then it's going to print another copy of the same document. So I'll go for two just for this. All right, in case you want to have a copy and then the client also have a copy, physical copy, I mean. That is when you make it two. 
All right, so after it is done, it's going to try saving your invoice as a PDF file. Okay, this is a different scenario. So I'm going to look for my location. All right, so it's going to save with the sheet name. As you can see, it's sheet one. That is why it's using sheet one. And then the current date and just a unique code generator. So I'm going to go to save. All right, it tells me that this is exactly the path where my father said I go for. Okay, no problem. And then let's check that out. So So this is exactly where the files were stored. Okay, so these are supposed to be two printouts. So let's check it out. I'm going to double click on the first file and to get what I, you see what I got? It says invoice, the date, the client, the invoice number is one. All right, and then every information is on it as I requested to talk to everything generated for me. That's fine. But right now we don't want just one. What do we do? If we don't want just one, let's go over back to Excel to format that. Okay, you see it has updated our sheet to be one. So I don't want this to happen. So I can right click on my cell, go for format cells. Then I go over to numbering. Under the, we have numbers, that's not what we want. We have a uh, custom, very good. So we want there to be multiple numbers before this particular word, character. So what we can do is to have these being created for us. So we have one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm just gonna add, yeah, I'm gonna make it four. It's going to be like this. So I'm going to go for OK. So it means our ID will be generated. Invoice number will be generated this way. So the next printout will be two. Next will be three. And so on and so forth. 